Hey everybody, it's ALG. Welcome in everyone back to Let's Play Sweet Code in 3. And we're pretty much gonna go ahead, go on to Duck Village, and meet these uh, people here. <laughs> All they care about is just showing these girls off. It's like, hey man, look at this! I'm pretty sure they don't want to, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, what a cock blocker! <clears throat> and they probably could just gonna tell everybody anyway, so whatever. All right, so we still gotta look for these people. And the ducks have left, like we care, right? Uh, yeah, so luckily these people aren't as hard to find as the village chief was, and we don't have to look at anybody else's asses in order to find these people. So, uh, thank God for that. Personally, I wouldn't want to stare at a duck's ass unless if it was cooked, but that's just my personal preference. Alright, so basically go in front of the inn, and yay, we see two familiar people. So basically, Caesar and Apple. <laughs> you know, in that last battle? <laughs> that wasn't even much of a battle, that was just a get the hell out thing. Okay, uh, Yoon. How are you? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Poor Caesar. Yeah, the Yoon girl is kind of creepy, but whatever. We'll, we'll listen in on what these guys are pretty much going to cook up here in terms of a plot. Uh, off track. That's right, Republic of Torin. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, that's never a good thing now. I don't know about you guys, but I always like to read it, read into conspiracies and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people don't, and I could probably understand why, but I don't know. It's always interesting to find out, you know, especially in history, you know, what kind of happens with those sort of things and, you know, who done it. You know, that type of, you know, that type of thing, especially with like, you know, like JFK's assassination, there's all sorts of hypotheses as to uh, what really happened or how that went about. Because nobody really, really knows, there is really no concrete proof as to what happened behind that. But, I don't know, I always find conspiracies to be interesting, but that's just something loosely related to this game, because most Sweet Coden games revolve around conspiracy. That's probably why I like them so much, because I am a conspiracy type of person. Because I do find those things interesting. <laughs> you needed to be, uh, kept on a leash. But what? Okay, I don't even know what that was about. Oh, Caesar is wild all the time. So, I could say for the character who probably keeps it raw the most, it would probably be Caesar in this game. So far, anyway. So, uh... 
Yeah, I mean, come on, look at him. He looks raw. <clears throat> His hair a mess and everything. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, basically we're just gonna go on ahead and, uh... Holy crap, we got a lot of support people. Uh... Doggy for the win, and we're gonna go over here and investigate the runes for a bit. Good day! Good day, Mr. Ducky! I want... Okay, now, you can do two things with Yumi. You can either get rid of her Earth Rune, and replace it with a Water Rune, and uh, basically level up her Water Stat, or her Water Magic level, Skill level, if you will, or you could just leave it there and use it for a future battle, which happens to be an optional battle, and uh, it's very, very tough. Uh, usually, my percentage chances of winning it are probably around like 40%. The first time I went through this certain battle, uh, I did beat it the first time with the Earth Rune, but I think I kind of want to uh, experiment here and try the Water Rune method. However, this battle is optional, so if you get your ass whooped, um, there's nothing really big to worry about, but since I am kind of on a really good streak in terms of optional battles, I'll just go ahead and, uh... Hmm. Ah, oh, the bag is full. Oh, that blows. Okay, well, we gotta get rid of something. How about this thick, delicious egg roll? Om um, nom 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 nom. There you go. Actually, that's kind of funny because, uh... Lancer D1984 loves egg rolls. I think that's one of his, uh, it's probably his most favorite om nom is egg roll. So, uh, Lancer, if you're watching this, I probably threw away your most, uh, delicious food ever. And I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean to do it. But I had to make room for, uh, <laughs> this item. You have to understand. And speaking of Lancer, he's actually, uh, doing a very good run through of Sweet Code 1. I was, uh, looking at his uh, playlist and um, his videos are actually uh, he actually goes ahead and uh, lists a character bio for every character you meet in the game which I think is pretty cool and uh, if you're interested in watching his LP of it you might as well just go on ahead and see it because it's actually pretty high quality uh, from Lancer's part I was actually quite pleasantly surprised I would say it's, he's been doing very well, I and mean, he also t intends to do the entire Sweet Coden series. Uh, good luck on that, buddy, because this these games are really long, and uh, yeah, like I'm having difficulty just trying to chug through this game because it's so long. But uh, you know, it's probably because I don't have enough time for doing this these long RPGs and stuff. Because this has all just been going over. A year and a half in terms of just doing this game so uh, yeah see that kind of raises the question you know am I gonna go on to Sweet Code and 5 because Sweet Code and 5 is actually longer than this game and maybe if I go ahead and pre if I pre-record it in my free time like do as many episodes of it as I possibly can while like uploading other let's plays then who knows? Maybe I might be able to pull it off. We'll we'll see about that. But Sweet Code and Five is kind of a big game in terms of the stuff you do in it, and uh, I'll probably just be better off just doing that in my free time. Oh my God, my nose is stuffy. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, gotta drink some more water. Ah, oh, okay. I think we're going to be a little bit good, or better, or whatever. Uh, okay, so, <clears throat> I put the Water Rune on Yumi, uh, basically frigged around with her stats, and she should be uh, pretty good for this battle uh, coming up. This is after the Chisha events, by the way, so I'm kind of preparing in advance. Well, obviously I am, but I'm just going to do everything right now.
Alright guys, I'm gonna go in back into Chicha Village again. And we're just gonna pretty much continue uh, everything that this uh, little village has to offer in terms of challenges. Or <laughs> whatever, I guess. Two people who are far from swordsmen, let me tell you. Yes, my boy. Stay away from the summoner. That's what she reminds me of. Anyway, if Sana would, ha would were to have a voice, it would probably be that same voice actor from freaking Final Fantasy X. <clears throat> oh, come on. No, Everybody knows about the Silverbergs. Everybody. No. See, this is how awesome Caesar is. <laughs> Caesar, you are a retard. Baboon. Oh my god. Such fail. But the fail happens to be funny, so it's not so bad, you know? Hey, look, a duck's ass. Yeah, so much for strategy. We just basically sit on our asses until something happens. Hmm, I guess you're kind of right. I don't know, Caesar, compared to Shu... See, Shu, Shu's tactics were amazing. There are like these quick and dirty type things where, you know, let's just pretend that we're doing this, and then when the enemy falls for it, we just attack them when they least expect it. I don't know, with Caesar's, it's just kind of like, well, we just kind of do this thing. And, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like as... I don't even know how to describe it. Not flashy, but... I don't know. See, Matthew and Shu. See, Shu and Matthew were really closer to each other in terms of how they did things compared to Caesar and Matthew. I don't know. Some people might beg to differ with that. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Alright, so here's what we have to do here. Uh, this is probably the first time you've ever seen this. And this is basically, uh, all we're doing is arranging units for battle. If you guys remember clearly, uh, for every major battle that we've had so far, everybody's basically paired, uh, in cards. And the unit leader is basically on the face of the card, and you, there's usually, like, a couple more Stars of Destiny paired with that unit leader. Uh, basically what this is, later on in the game, you're gonna have a function where you're gonna be able to do this for... Uh, not, I don't know if, uh, for just about every major battle, but <clears throat> you're going to have the ability to basically assign people to different uh, unit leaders and basically customize your own units, which I think is really, really cool. And it really does make the major battle system a lot better because, uh, well, pretty much for the most part, you're given the customization. I mean, before that... All you have is just like the cards and it's just like, okay, well this is awkward, everybody is uh, looking like a card, and what do we do, you know? But at least with this way, you know basically which unit it is which, and you can basically overpower one unit, while the other unit could be more of like a mage type, or you could mix and match, or do whatever you want, and it actually brings out a lot in terms of the gameplay for the major battles. Alright, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and say wait a minute, mainly to save. Uh, you do definitely don't have to. Uh, no, I don't think any major stars of Destiny uh, die in this battle if you lose it. But we're, as usual, we're going to try and see if we can get a major victory out of this one. Okay, so go ahead. We're going to do this. Uh, obviously, in order to get a major victory, 
you have to uh, not have any one unit die completely off of the field. So no players have to be taken off the field. And obviously, uh, defeat will make you lose. But I don't think any of the Stars of Destiny will die from this battle. In some major battles they do, and you have to be very careful about that. So anyway, we have Dios here. And if you guys are wondering, this is probably... This is taking place right before Hugo comes in. So just right before that timeline. Or timeline intersection, if you will. So uh, keep that in mind. And as you can see, we have about three units. And for the most part, we're kind of unevenly matched. Uh, we have Dios' unit and three Harmonian units. And these guys are really nothing to sneeze at for our current uh, levels. Uh, so the battles will probably be kind of hard in terms of putting it up with it. But we'll see how this goes, because... For the most part, I did upgrade everybody's weapons and stuff, so everybody should be fine on the attack side. I'm not too sure about the defense side, because I don't know how powerful these guys are. I kind of forgot it's been a while since I've played this chapter in my practice or run through. Mm, that doesn't look too good. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Damn. Oh. This isn't good. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, we lost one, and, uh... Yeah, go back to your mommy. Yeah, I, I uh, didn't mean for the duck to die like that. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Oh well. Charge! Okay, let's see what these guys have to offer. What? Oh my god, no! I totally didn't mean to do that! Oh, did I just do that? Oh my god, I am so retarded. Oh my god. That, oh, that probably screwed up everything right there. Watch. Watch. Now, let's see how Chris does. Uh. Oh! Oh! Wow. Uh, no. Not... No, 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 no. Yeah. Chris needs to get healed up. Unfortunately, she is not as powerful as I thought she was. Oh dear. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, so we have Fred's unit who's basically untouched. And it's facing Dios's unit. Uh, I, I should mention that another thing that uh, doesn't really matter uh, if you uh, defeat all of these guys or not. Actually, I would probably not even recommend it. Uh, if you can, try to defend as much as you possibly can. Uh, I think I might have botched this uh, major battle already by having the... Uh, or by having Rhett die. But, um... And he's not gonna be dead, trust me. <laughs> he's gonna be just fine, but, uh... Yeah. Uh, I probably uh, didn't uh, pretty much eliminate any chances of getting a major victory from this, and you actually get some Earth Chainmail or whatever. It's actually pretty nice, but uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, you losers. Nice. Yeah, we're apparently, either they have high defense or we're not really all that powerful. And so far it looks like we're doing pretty good. I would say. 
Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Should I really risk uh, Fred's unit? Or no? I don't know that Chris would really just stay back there for now. So I'm probably just going to have like a res Fred's unit as a burial. And I'll just probably just leave him there. To protect Chris, if you will. Oh, crap. Now we got Dios's unit. We got to deal with here. Ow. Ow. Oh boy. So both of the Duck Brothers are dead. Not dead, just passed out, I guess. Yeah, this is a very hard battle. And, uh... You're probably not going to win this, but it's it ends at a set number of turns, as the uh, battle stipulations did say. So this will only go on for a few more turns. We're not really healing all that much, as much as I would have liked to have. So. Huh. Let's see what we can do with Nash's team. Because right now Nash's team is in better shape than Fred's, unfortunately, so... Then we could just go ahead and mess around with that and call it quits. Let's see how this stacks up. Alright. Hmm. Okay, things are not looking up. And our teams are already in a mess, so we'll just see what happens. What? Oh my god. Uh, this is definitely not good. Yeah, um, run away. Oh, 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 nice. That was pretty good, Fred. I'll give you a little clap on that one. Yeah, uh, why am I getting my ass kicked? Oh my god, god damn. Yeah, we're getting our asses kicked, pretty much. I'm just gonna go ahead and just probably just uh, run away from everything now. Oh, this is great. Okay, now what to do? Uh, we're basically backed up right in front of our home base. And, uh... Yeah, we don't really have that much uh, to go. So... Apparently, I can't really move anywhere. Huh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much out of ideas. I'm just gonna try, let's just try and wait for this to end. It should end in another couple rounds anyway, so we'll just try to survive until then.
Oh, great! Wasn't well, this wonderful? Ah, that was brilliant. A mixture of manure and dry wood. No wonder that smoke was so brown. Ah, that must have smelled nasty. Okay, well that's a silver bird for you, always thinking ahead. Um, hmm, anyway. I'll probably do that since Chris is pretty much, uh, regen all the way. So it shouldn't really be that big of a deal now. We'll just go ahead and put week with week. <laughs> uh oh, it's Hugo. And here's Halleck, too. Charge or something like that. <laughs> I'd rather go home. Eh, I guess so. I pretty much got my ass whooped for today anyway. So guys, this is ALG signing off and I will